Looks like hurricane season could be coming earlier. A committee at the National Hurricane Center is looking at extending the official dates. Paul Dudley and Peyton Malone are giving us some insight. Hurricane season starts June 1st, but the National Hurricane Center is looking at perhaps moving it up to May 15th. Of course, last hurricane season was busy. We had the most named storms ever. So Peyton Malone, are we really seeing storms earlier than we used to? Yeah, that's the big topic and discussion that the National Hurricane Center is looking at. The main thing that prompted this, by the way, is when you look at the past nine seasons, seven out of those nine seasons had a storm, a named storm formed between May 15th and June 1st. And we've seen that quite a few times over the past couple of years. Now, one thing that has not changed is when we see most of our activity. We all know when we get into August there and especially September, that's when we see the most storms you can see and even leading into October. So that has not changed. But one thing that they're noticing is that yes, it seems we're getting more and more storms forming before that official uh, kind of start date, which is now June 1st. Now, one thing you really look at when you go back to 1970, this is interesting. You can see the f date of the first named storm back in 1970 was usually in mid July. Now it is usually on average when you look at the linear progression is in early June. And as we've mentioned, it's been more in the middle of May recently. So this is one thing that really prompted uh, them to look at this. So Peyton, if they do decide to change this, the National Hurricane Center, what does this do besides just move up the date? Right, so the National Hurricane Center, usually on June 1st is when they start issuing those regularly uh, scheduled forecast that you know outlooks basically uh, but this year they've already decided they're going to start doing it on May 15th so that's really the only kind of change it kind of changes their procedure it really shouldn't change your preparation which we you know preach you should be doing basically right now and so what do you think is causing this? What is causing more of these early storms? That's a huge area of research and it's a bit of a nuance, you know, kind of answer because there's a lot of different factors and it's hard to determine those exact trends when you're dealing on a scale of looking at decade trends in the climate. Now, one thing is for sure, the waters have gotten warmer in general and what hurricanes and storms do off? warm water. So that is certainly one thing that could lead to this. Uh, but when you look at the other things, you know, you're looking at right now we have better satellites than we used to. We have much better detection of these storms. And if we're able to capture these kind of weaker systems, which typically they're weaker in the month of May, um, you know, perhaps that kind of leads into it too. I know we are several months away from the start of hurricane season, but any early predictions? You know, we, we look at these predictions all year long. We talk about La Nina and El Nino. When we have an El Nino season, it's usually less active. Last year, we had somewhat of a La Nina, and we all know how that turned out. This year, it looks like we could see the La Nina continue. What that means is, yes, the global pattern may be more conducive for another active season. Exact numbers won't come out for the next couple of months, but uh, unfortunately, it's looking like some of the ingredients are coming together for maybe a busy hurricane season once again. All right, Peyton Malone, thank you so much. Well, in case you forgot, there were 30 named storms last year. It was the most ever, ever. The previous record was set in 2005.